Good morning, grade two. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Are you ready for our grammar lesson today? So pay attention and listen carefully, please. Today is Tuesday, 28th of April, 2020. Today we will make a review for the using capital letters lesson. Okay. Now, when do we use capital letters? When do we use capital letters? Number one, at the beginning of the sentence. At the beginning of the sentence. Example, we go to school every day. We go to school every day. We have to capitalize the beginning of the sentence. So we have here the W. The, the, the W is um, a capital letter here because it comes at the beginning of the sentence. Let's practice. My family went to the mall. My family went to the mall. We have to capitalize what? We have to capitalize the M. Why? Because it comes at the beginning of the sentence. So we should write it like that. Capital M. Number two, the water slide was fun. What we have to capitalize? Yes, we have to capitalize the T. Why? Because it comes at the beginning of the sentence. So we have to write it like that. Now, number three, where is my bike? Where is my bike? We have to capitalize. Yeah, we have to capitalize the W because it comes at the beginning of the sentence. And we should write it like that. Capital W. Okay. Now, now days of the week. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Example, the football game is on Monday. We have to capitalize the M in Monday because it comes uh, at the beginning of the um, name of the day, okay? So days of the week should um, start with a capital letter, okay? Let's practice. On Sunday, we will go to the library. We have to capitalize S and Sunday and write it like that capital S why because it is a day of a week we will play basketball every Wednesday we have to capitalize what we have to capitalize the W in Wednesday because it is um, the name of a day on Thursday nights and Saturday mornings, we practice piano. So we have to capitalize what and what? Great, we have to capitalize T and S. And we have to write them Thursday and Saturday like that. Start with a capital letter. Great job. Now person's name. For example, Sarah, Sam, Ali, Talia, Mark. Example, my name is Mary. We capitalize the M in Mary because it is a person's name. It is a person's name. Okay? Okay, now let's practice. Number one, my best friend's names are Jane and Sam. We have to capitalize, yes, we have to capitalize J and S in Jane and Sam. Why? Because they are persons' names, okay? We have to write them like that. Okay, now, number two, my name is Mary. We have to capitalize the M in Mary because it is a name. 
My best friend Lara lives in Canada. We have to capitalize the L. Excellent. In Lara, why? Because it is a name, a person's name. We have to write it like that. Okay, now let's go on. Now, months of the year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, we have to start them with a capital letter. My sister's birthday is in May. We have to write May, start with capital letter, okay? We have to capitalize the M in May. Now, let's practice. In August and September, we harvest the plants we grew all summer. We have to capitalize the A in August and uh, the S in uh, September. Why? Because they are months of the year, okay? months of the year january is my favorite month because i like snow we have to capitalize the j in january because it is a month of the year and also it is a, or it comes at the beginning of the sentence number three i went to see sam on march we have to capitalize m and um, we have to capitalize M and write it uh, like that. Why? Because it is a month of a year. Okay? Now let's go on. Now, holidays. Holidays. A special time. For example, Independence Day, Labor Day, Eid al Fitr, New Year's Day, Day, we have to start them with a, uh, the capital letters, okay? With the capital letters. So, holidays, okay? For example, Eid al Fitr is my favorite holiday. We have to capitalize the E, the A, and the F in Eid al Fitr, okay? Why? Because it is a holiday. Now let's practice. I will be a cowboy for Halloween. We have to capitalize the H in Halloween because it is a holiday. So we have to write it like this. Number two, every Eid we visit our grandparents. We have to capitalize the E in Eid because it is a holiday. We have to write it like that. Number three, my teacher gave us a New Year's Day present. The N should uh, be capitalized, the Y should be capitalized, and the, day, the D in J should be capitalized. We have to write the New Year's Day like that. Why? Because it is a holiday. Okay? Okay. Now, title for people. Title for people. For example, Mrs., Miss, Mr., Doctor, Prof, like that. Um, we call these um, title for people, okay? For example, we have Dr. Sam said, take your medicines on time. Doctor should start with capital letter, okay? Why? Because it is a title for uh, people, okay? Dr. Sam. D should be capitalized. Now let's practice. Dr. Jack takes care of our pets. We have to capitalize the D. Uh, first of all, it comes at the beginning of the sentence and it is a title for, uh, for people, okay? And uh, Jack. Also, it is a name, person's name, right? So we have to capitalize D in Dr. J in Jack. My mother asked Mr. Ali to pick our mail. We have to uh, capitalize M and Mr. A and Ali. Mr. here is a title and Ali a person's name, okay? We have to write uh, them like that. Mr. 
Miss Rose is my math teacher. Miss Rose is my math teacher. Um, we have to capitalize the M in Miss and R in Rose. M in Miss because it is a title and it comes at the beginning of the sentence and Rose it is a person's name, right? We have to write them like that. Now let's watch this uh, video about uh, the capital letters and when we have to uh, capitalize letters. All right. So when? All right. So when do you use capital letters? Hmm. You learn when to use capital letters by following the capitalization rules. Capitalization means using capital letters. We are going to look at some of the most important capitalization rules so you can know when to capitalize letters and when to leave letters lowercase. All right, so the first capitalization rule is this. Always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. Look at this example. The tricycle was red. Notice how the T is capitalized. That's because it's the first letter in the sentence. Always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. How about this one? They all got very wet. They all got very wet. Notice the T for they is capitalized. That's because it's at the beginning of the sentence. Always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. How about this sentence? Skiing is so much fun. The S in skiing is capitalized, isn't it? It's capitalized because it's at the beginning of the sentence. Always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. So the first capitalization rule is to always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. Here is the second rule. Always capitalize names and proper nouns. Take a look at this sentence. We visited Paris last year. We visited Paris last year. The W for we is capitalized because it's the beginning of the sentence. Remember, we always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. And the P for Paris is capitalized because we always capitalize names and proper nouns. Take a look at this sentence. We think Muffy is sad. We think Muffy is sad. The W for we is capitalized because it's at the beginning of the sentence, and the M is capitalized because Muffy is the name of this dog. It's a name, and we always capitalize names and proper nouns. Capitalize days, months, and holidays. That's the third rule. Always capitalize days, months and holidays let's look at this sentence he went to the library on tuesday he went to the library on tuesday the h with the word he is capitalized because it's at the beginning of the sentence and the t for tuesday is capitalized as well because we always capitalize days months and holidays Wow, look at this one. I love when it snows in January. I love when it snows in January. The I is capitalized. It's at the beginning of the sentence. And when an I is by itself, it's always capitalized anyway. And the J for January is capitalized because we always capitalize days, months, and holidays. Okay, let's look at this one. We keep a tree in our house for Christmas. We keep a tree in our house for Christmas. The W with the word we.
E is capitalized because it's at the beginning of the sentence. And the C in Christmas is capitalized because we always capitalize days, months, and holidays. You have done a great job learning the capitalization rules so far. Always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. Always capitalize names and proper nouns. Always capitalize days, months, and holidays. And number four, always capitalize titles like Dr., Mr., Mrs., and Miss. This last sentence we're looking at today has all of the rules plus the bonus rule about the letter I. Now, here it is. Last Friday, I went to Dr. Jones for a checkup. Last Friday, I went to Dr. Jones for a checkup. The L is capitalized because it's the first letter of the sentence. The F is capitalized because Friday is a day, and we always capitalize days, months, and holidays. The letter I is capitalized because it's all by itself. And whenever there's an I in a sentence all by itself, we always capitalize it. The D for doctor is capitalized because we always capitalize titles like doctor, Mrs., Mr., and Miss. And also the J is capitalized because Jones is his name. And we always capitalize names and proper nouns. Wow, here they are one last time. Capitalization rules. Always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. Always capitalize names and proper nouns. Always capitalize days, months, and holidays. And always capitalize titles like Dr., Mr., Mrs., and Miss. And we also had the bonus rule.
Uh, I will check the chat. Okay. Hydra, um, okay, there is a mistake, but it's okay. Good job. Okay, let's do the first one. Let's do the first one. Every May, our family goes to baseball game. Excellent game. Uh, Stanley, excellent. So, May, May, excellent. Why? Because it is a month. We have to write it um, like that. Start with a capital letter. Excellent. Sanati, Dragana, Dejo. Number two. Number two, Mrs. Carlson brings gifts for everyone. Great job, Sana. Good, Yara. Good, Dana. Good. Excellent, Yara. Rima. Jana Jud. Habsal Aziz. Jana Jud, no. Nadia, excellent. Okay, so Mrs. Carlson, uh, we have to capitalize the M in Mrs. because it is a title and Carlson, it is a person's name. So we have to write it like that. Didra, uh, why you want me to underline family? We shouldn't under uh, we shouldn't uh, underline it. We uh, it uh, will not uh, start with a capital letter. Why? It doesn't need that. Family no, yes, Idra. No, 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 no. Family no. Okay, let's go on. Number three, that packs everything on Sunday. Great job. Sunday, because it is a day. This year, the 4th of July is on um, Friday. Number four, we are now in number four. Great, Rima. Great job. So, great, Sana, July and Friday. A day and a month, okay? Now, his favorite holiday is Dad Day. We have to capitalize what? Excellent, Amir. No, Yara. No, Zena. Excellent, Rima. Excellent, Yara. Great, Muhammad. So, flag day. Flag day. Why? Because it is a holiday. Now, number six, Sarah likes playing tennis. Sarah likes playing tennis. We have to capitalize what? We have to, excellent Amir. Excellent Amir. Why? 
Um, okay, Sara, we have to capitalize Sara, it's an imagine artist, because uh, first of all, it starts um, or it becomes at the beginning of the sentence, and of course, because it is a person's name, person's name, okay? Now, number seven, I have a doctor appointment this Friday at 11 a.m. Excellent. Super. Friday. Friday. Excellent. Sana um, Abdul Aziz. Why? Because it is a day. Okay. Great job. Now, Yasmin's favorite food is frozen. Yasmin's favorite food is frozen. Now, Excellent, Sarah. Excellent, Amir. So, yes, me. Yes, me. Why? Because it is a person's name and also it comes at the beginning of the sentence. Okay? Okay. Now, number nine. Mr. William loves to teach phonics. Yes, Sidra, excellent. Amir, excellent. Um, Jenna and Jude, excellent. Okay. So, excellent, Mohanad. No, Mohanad, you missed something. William also should uh, be capitalized, okay? Mohanad, why? Because it is a person's name. So we have to capitalize the M in Mr. And we have to capitalize will, uh, the W in William because it is a person's name, okay? Now, I love my cat. I love my cat. I here also should be capitalized. Why? Excellent, Amir. Excellent, uh, Jenna. Uh, I love. Excellent, Abdul Aziz. Should be uh, capitalized. Why? Because uh, it comes at the beginning of the sentence. Excellent, Dana and Nadia. And um, uh, we uh, said that we always have to uh, capitalize. I, okay? okay. Now, my dad works on Sundays at the hospital. I know, Nadia, I know. Okay, Sidra, excellent. No, Nadia, no. My dad works on Sundays at hospital, at the hospital. We have to capitalize what? Great, um, Jenna. Great, Sana. Uh, Sana, you have a mistake, but it's okay. No, no, no. We have only to, uh, to capitalize some days. Why? Because it is a, a day, days of the week. Okay. Now, Mr. Jacob is our school principal. Okay. Great job, Mr. Mr. Jacob, we have to capitalize M in Mr. and Jacob uh, because it is a person's name, okay? Now, I will draw a picture of a clown. Excellent, Zena, Sana, Amir, great. 
Nadia, excellent. Okay, so I, I, excellent. I should be capitalized. I should be capitalized. Great job. Sam went to fly his kite. Sam went to fly his kite. Excellent, Amir, Sana. Um, Nadia, great job. It is a person's name. Last Saturday, I went shopping in London. Great, Amir. It is on a Saturday. Excellent, Nadia and Sana also. It is a, a day of the week. Okay, excellent, Abdul Aziz. Now, the cat played with a ball of yarn. We have to capitalize the. Why? Because it comes at the beginning of the sentence. Great job. Uh, okay, dear, this is what we have for today. Thank you for listening. I will meet you, inshallah, tomorrow. Bye-bye.